In this part, I'm going to show you how to implement the start schema using the Azure Synapse Analytics. Now we have created the dedicated pool and in this dedicated pool, we have, are going to create a start schema. But first, we are going to create the dimension and the fact table. When we design a start schema model for a small or medium uh, size data set, you can use your preferred database such as Azure SQL. For a large data set, you may benefit from the implementation your, of the data warehouse in Azure Synapse Analytics instead of the SQL Server. This is, this is important to understand some key difference when you create a table in Synapse Analytics. In a Synapse Analytics, you don't have a foreign key and unique value constraint like you do in SQL Server. These uh, rules are not enforced at the database layer. The job used to load uh, data have more responsibility to maintain data integrity. You still have the option to use a clustered index. But for the most of the dimension table in Synapse Analytics, you will benefit from using a cluster column index that is known as CCI. So let's start by creating the, uh, the structure of the data warehouse. So for that, I'm going to go to the Synapse Studio and then data because I'm going to create my structure in SQL dedicated pool and then I'm going to do a new empty script and then in this empty script I'm going to create my fact table that contain a, that contain a product key, order key, all the foreign key and the KPI, some KPI, the cost, the amount, the sales, the tax amount. My distribution is uh, hash on the sales order number. My dimension um, table is a dim res seller that contain all the detail of the fact table and the distribution is the replicated. And the dim employees and dim product and dim geography and I'm going to execute my script run it's fully executed and here I have all the structure of my table for example the I can select the toe the top 10 row nothing to to show here. I can change the mode of the view per table or per share and here I have the configuration of the chart and I can export as image. So the next step is I'm going to put data into the table. For that I'm going to do a new empty script and in my uh, script, I have to put into the uh, product uh, dimension from the HTTP product CSV. The type file is a CSV and the delimiter is a pipe and file code is empty, row delimiter is a, a space and the encoding, the same for the sailors, the employees, and dimension, uh, geography, and the fact table. I'm going to execute. Nice. And then if I will to, for example, to select the top 10 for the product key, and I have all the data here in my table, the statue and some information. And here I have the graph of the 
of the data that is configured here. Next, what I want to do is to create a relationship between the fact and the DM table to extract a KPI by a month uh, granularity. For that, I'm going to do a new SQL empty script. And in my script, I'm going to select from the fact and join with a, a DIM resilier and a geography DIM product by grouping by year. As I said, I'm going to my granularity is the uh, the month and the name and the city, state and province. And if I execute my query, I have the result here by model, reason city, and some uh, KPIs. As you see here, I join the fact table with the dimension table that we don't have a cascade relationship between the dimension and with other dimension. So, so for that, we are talking about the start scheme. The fact table is direct related with the dimension table. 